Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Showcase on Bloodborne. Now you see this you see this cunt? Do you see this stupid guy? Chain gun. Who uses chain gun? Hey, doesn't he know? Bitches love cannons! So you can probably guess what today's video is. Yes, the cannon, if you couldn't tell by the title. The large prototype firearm fashioned by the workshop heretics, the powder kegs which has a lot of power in this case. The use of this weapon is equivalent of toting a mounted cannon. Mm, you don't say. <laughs> Complete with a ridiculous weight, staggering kick, and lavish use of quick start blitz into battle. Such a monstrosity was doomed from the start, and indeed the development was cut short. Yet against some possibly gigantic foes, it might just be the thing. Or to seriously abuse on those who parry. <laughs> Depends how you entirely use it or view it. So yeah, it's a cannon. You guys say more? It's a, it's a cannon. If you want to get something bigger, well you can't. You can't carry it. Or well, maybe you can. It is the Souls universe. But you can see here that the cannon is quite large for a firearm. I'm not sure. Do you consider cannons firearms? Is that, 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 that fall into that category? I guess so. I think it falls more in artillery range. Regardless, this is a very small cannon at that. It's fit somewhere between uh, a serious threat to not a serious threat in terms of cannon usage. I doubt it could put a hole through a wall very easily, but it could put a hole through someone pretty easily. And not to mention the place you hold it is on the handle where you can see it's your fist grip. No such person could lift that and fire it without having their entire wrist shattered into a hundred pieces. Easily, every time it shoots. Like, where do you even ignite this thing without burning yourself? If you fired it, wouldn't you literally be sent back with it? Too many questions, whatever. Now, when firing this weapon, you best take uh, some blood bullets, and you'll see why. You fire it, and boom! It's nice and loud. It's pretty cool. Alright, well, let's get some more blood bullets. And yeah, it's already cut off some quite a bit of health, and there it is again. Pretty awesome. Okay, we'll get more blood bullets, and let's go for another round. But wait! Yeah. You can only fire this twice with only the standard means. You can fire it three times if I exaggerate means, but even then, why would you? Now going on to the stats and upgrade for the cannon. Well now, if you ignore the cannon beneath mine, you can see that the physical damage is 200 straight off, with only 15 bonus damage. But you can see that for the base damage, it's actually the strongest weapon for base damage. Not overall going to be damage, but you get the idea. And it has a very, very, very small amount of bonus. 15. Going on to the special stats, you can see that it calls for 12 quick silver bullets to be fired. That's a lot. That's a staggering amount. So yeah. Durability is 200, which is pointless. You wouldn't ever able to break this weapon. When which universe can you? Moving on for that, let's go into the tree of bonus, which you only get an E for blood tinge. A very, very, very small E. <laughs> very small. Going into the tree of requirements, you need 30 strength to wield around this sucker. So, you're, you're already investing a lot into your strength instead of your blood tinge. But that's just besides the point, you also need 13 dexterity. This weapon falls into the oh, 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 strange one indeed. I got no words for it. Other than it's a motherfucking cannon. Now when upgrading the cannon, which you probably want to if you're going to use it, because you see you get 40 damage every level up. The most damage, it came to a 9, but you can see 40 every time you level up. That is monstrous. So yeah, if you're going to use a cannon, it's very much in your best interest to max that level out. Because you're not going to get anything from bonus. Well, you get a little bit from bonus. But, eh, not much. You're going to be mainly made up of base damage. Even if you had 99 blood tinge, I think you could just come somewhat close to meeting the base damage. Maybe somewhere half will the past halfway, but we'll see. Actually, no, we won't see. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so yeah, I took it right to that level. Right to level 8. So you can see quite a bit of damage there. It would take for the next one. But I'm out of blood ch bloodstone chunks. So, moving on from that, it now begs the question, how powerful is it? Well, there's another thing we got to talk about, as you probably noticed. For a firearm, you cannot equip any gems to this. This is the damage. This is the top level. Well, aside from a couple more well, upgrades and a bit of more blunt inch. But besides that, it's not going to get much stronger. 
let's move on to performance. So, using this weapon is a bit of a tassel. You can see there, monstrous amount of damage, yes. I have now wasted half my ammunition. So let's take the other half of the ammunition and shoot the executioner here. And, uh, okay, the weapon's not instantaneous. I did use a pistol trinaparium, but maybe that's not for the best. I'll try again doing that, so they can get, there we go. Pull the cannon and fire and no stagger and it didn't do that much damage. It's because from the little guy I managed to hit his head region. The executioner I did not. It's a much different hitbox zone. So I gotta run away because I ran out of ammo, but I came back with two shots now. Let's try this. So I fire once, from the behind this time, and does stagger him, which is nice. Still though, only 600 700 damage, and he blocked the second one and he comes right back at me. So you gotta be very key and with running away with that. How about an armored opponent? Well, if you go right up close, like I did with the smaller opponent, lots. Lots. Mind you, his hitbox is very, uh, stubby, if I will. <laughs> and against the armored battle maiden, well, it's along the same lines, well, same area of the butcher. As you can see, not a whole lot. And then I have forced to run away because I used up all my ammunition. A Shadow of Yarnum? Well, once I get their attention, this is probably one of the worst weapons to fight them with because you only get two shots. And they're, they can easily dodge this shit, so you gotta go make sure you point blank in there, and even then, it didn't kill them. See, so yeah. The cannon's powerful. But why would you? I'm not sure who depends on this thing. Maybe after you parry an opponent in PvP. But besides the point, I'm not gonna use the bone ash, bone marrow ash. And you can see here, not a whole lot of damage. I'm not loading my second shot with bone marrow ash. And you can see, let's look at the difference. I normally don't use this stuff, but since you get very few shots, I figured might as well. So there's the bone marrow I shot. You get 668. And you see I didn't hit the critical region. Now I'm going to fire again without the bone marrow ash. 638. Not a dramatic difference here, is it? So yeah. And just for shits and giggles, let's shoot this guy again nice and close. He wasn't even that close then. And quite a significant difference. I only did 1110. I do go to another opponent. And of course, if I don't get my blood bullets, I don't fire it. And dramatic difference if you're not point blank. Okay, let's go on to the pros and cons of the cannon. Now, the pros, well, it's the strongest firearm in the game. Easily. It's not, not the best thing, though. Now, also, it has excellent stagger potential. It staggers even the biggest of foes. Alright. And of all the uh, firearms, it has the greatest bonus damage, despite the irony of it starting out with such a feeble amount. But compared to other firearms, it's quite colossal. I did end up with almost 200 bonus damage. So yeah. Alright, and that's kind of it for the pros. On the cons, uh, you can only fire twice in normal conditions, and uh, it's incredibly slow. It requires 30 strength to wield, so already you're investing more into strength than you are to wielding this weapon. So it's a build, the build for it's already doesn't make quite a whole lot of sense. Yeah. Its purpose is a bit of a mystery. Sure, we know what it's used for, but to who uses it effectively is a better question. Anyway, moving on from that, let's go on to the score for the cannon. Now, damage is an obvious 10 out of 10. We all agree on that one. Strongest firearm, hands down. Speed, we all agree it's a 1 out of 10. The thing is bloody up and slow. Of all the firearms, it's the slowest. Bonus, I'm going to give a 5 out of 10. Mainly, it's the damage carrying this number. It's a very low bonus you get overall, but the damage of the weapon is very high. So that brings that bonus forward. This I'm going to give that 3 out of 10. This weapon, I don't know, you, might, you may want to use it for a boss. If you don't parry a boss and you just get a key moment, that's a very specific key moment. But I give it a 3 out of 10 for being useless outside of that moment. <laughs> In total, the cannon gets 19 out of 40. It's bad because if it's a cannon, it can only be fired twice. <laughs> it's going to wreck someone's day. But that's only one person out of a whole mob out in front of you. <laughs> and yes, we're already on to conclusions. Since I can't fit this with any blood gems, there really is no extra footage to show. So the cannon is exactly as it states, a cannon. Something that's powerful, difficult to load, difficult to use, but guaranteed to wreck something. Something. 
And that's been Showcase for today. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care out there.